I'm Barbara Drube, and you're here at Life Artist, the place where we embody our creativity. So, you think you gotta work really hard in order to make things happen? What if I told you that having the time of your life and enjoying is what gets it done? Multiple studies have shown the positive correlation between happiness, our happiness level, and our productivity. When productivity is measured not only as the end result, but as the attention and curiosity, the play-by-play, day-to-day enjoyment of your work, then your experience dramatically changes. Now, remember at Life Artists, the aim is to reconnect you to your experience, which means to your body and to the natural, creative qualities that lie within to give you the practice and the tools to manifest and embody the experience that you desire. In this week's video, we are going to play with the body's inherent ability to enjoy life. People who enjoy their work on a daily basis, these guys end up being much more productive than those who do not. Now, as we've talked about before, We don't always allow ourselves to relax and enjoy the creative process, regardless of the outcome. If we want longevity and perseverance and stamina and follow through in our work, then we don't realize that these are the qualities which are the natural results of enjoyment. The more we enjoy the creative process, as in the daily practice of our work, yeah? The day-to-day, the play-by-play, what we're actually doing in reality. The longer and more effectively we'll be able to focus, to be effective, to create habits and states that, of being that actually support us and allow us to create with power. This is all enjoyment. Now, our body will not continue doing something that it doesn't like, no chance. If it doesn't like it, it'll go away. So, we want to find playfulness, satisfaction, the pleasure, the sensuality, the exploration in the work that we do every day towards those things. Studies about persistence also found that those who are focused solely on the end results were consistently disappointed, and they often gave up on their goal. Why? Because we can't control what happens in the future, guys. We can set a goal, we can hope, but then life happens. Now, if we use this rigid type of goal setting, we will often fail because as we know, things rarely happen exactly as our planned framework. In our experience, in daily in our life is not pleasurable. Any challenge, surprise, or situation that arises that doesn't match exactly our experience now, what we want in the future, will lead us to stop. And very simply, the body is motivated by the experience it has in the now. If that experience is stressful, fear-based, and like running after something that in the now is not happening, our bodies won't do it. They won't continue. It won't see the experience and the value of pursuing that. If we create the experience of enjoyment now, then it is now rewarded for doing the work to achieve that desire, leading to ease and efficiency within the daily tasks that are needed to achieve something that we desire. Goals and aims happen in the future, yet out on a physical level, we cannot experience the future. Our bodies live in the now. Now, we can motivate our minds to get excited about an idea, but the implementation or the expression of that idea must and will be in the body now. If we want to have the interest, the focus, the curiosity, and the enjoyment, it has to be created in the moment. Otherwise, that future will never manifest, guys. Simply put, our attention and our focus have to be in the now for implementation to flow. Creativity is all about the experience, remember? 
We all want to reach our aims, hands down, me too. And if we cultivate enjoyment of what I'm doing right now, I love doing this video, the sensual, earthy, now moments, our success ratios will shoot through the roof. And we not only will have success, but we're gonna have a real blast doing it. Now that to me sounds like the way creativity was meant to be. So let's focus on creating the states of physical well-being, of enjoyment, of now states where it just feels good in the body. A body that feels well naturally expresses focus, relaxation, attention, movement and energy. So now we're gonna move into training. Welcome to today's training all about enjoyment as a physical experience. Today we're going to focus on raising up a ton of quick powerful energy using our legs, our hips, quick movements to get a quick and energetic state as a body. And then we're going to relax down into our body and allow this gentle, powerful, yeah, energetic state of flow to make our lives nice. So let's start. We're gonna stretch. I want you to bring your hands above your head and just stretch up. <sighs> bring your hands to the back of your low back. Breathe out. Roll down. Take a deep breath in while you roll up. And now rotate your pelvis three times to one side and three times to the other side. Just get these oily places, joints moving. And now swing your arms. Just breathe. Let your mouths relax. And start jumping. Just jump. Jump around. Jump, jump, jump around. And just feel. Let your body shake. Let your Drop your shoulders, feel the shaking of your arms, your legs. Try not to hold stiff, but really let your body just flop around. And now kick, kick, kick around you a couple times each side. Think about the things that you don't want in your life and kick them to the side and enjoy doing it. Enjoy kicking away. I don't like this and I want to enjoy and kick, and kick, and really kick, and breathe, and open your mouth. Let your arms relax. Feel all the extra effort we tend to make, and this makes the movement less enjoyable. Stop, breathe, and now punch. All around your body. Open your mouth, breathe, enjoy this sensation of bringing quick energy up, take a breath, relax, and now we're going to lower our bodies, breathing out, raise up, lower them, breathe up, lower, Breathe up. And stand, relax. Spread your legs wide, bend your knees, and just rotate your hips. Oh, really get the hips moving. Feel into the corners where it's a bit rusty. Ooh, feel how your body is sweating and breathing. And do breathe, guys. Don't try and hold your breath now. And stand. Take a deep breath. 
fists to both sides and we're gonna alternate quickly. Relax your knees. Feel where you're making excess effort and relax it while letting your arms swing. Keep going and take a breath. Bring your arms into the prayer position in front of your chest. And now we're going to breathe, opening your arms, expanding deep, 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 deep. And breathe out and really feel the out breath, relax. Oh, really let that breath go higher in your chest. Expand it. Oh, relax. Bring your hands up to the top of your head. Close your feet. And you're going to breathe out and push up from your back. Feel your spine elongating. Breathe in. Lower your arms and turn your hands over. Breathe out. And breathe in. Rotate your hands. Breathe out. And let your arms drop. And now we're gonna roll down and really relax. Roll down, breathing out. And in this downward roll, let your neck be long. Breathe in and out a few times. Let all this hot, intense energy relax now. Let it elongate you. And now breathe in, rolling up. And experience your body, guys. Breathe out, rolling down. And breathe in and out. Feel your spine elongating. Ah, let your neck hang. Bend your knees if you need to. It's not about yoga now. It's just about feeling your body. Breathe in. Ah, take a breath. And now we're going to do stopping movement. Stopping movement is we're going to move to this speed. Tuck, 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 tuck. All your body. And every time on the beat, you're looking for a new movement. And go. And enjoy the movement, guys. Feel where you start to complain and make effort and become lighter. Let your head move. Let your mouth move. Go up and down. Twist. Find new movements. <sighs> Little steps. <sighs> look up, look down. Go up, go down. Go to the side. We're three-dimensional, guys, and feel this enjoyment of movement. Get your hips involved. Get your bellies involved. Get your face involved. Move your face. Now breathe. Take a deep, full breath. You will need to breathe now. Don't decrease your breath. Breathe. Now, take your right hand and your right leg and circle them in front of your body and let it drop on the out breath. Circle it in front of your body and drop. And allow relaxation, not to hold. Let your muscles And now just stand, relax. Oh, take a deep, full breath. Feel your heart beating. Feel how your senses are now. Feel the enjoyment of the sweat 
Feel the enjoyment of the warmth and tingling in your body. Feel the enjoyment of life and being alive. Feel the motivating power that this energy has if we allow it. <sighs> We've been taught that hard work, yeah? is effortful, we need to do it with a lot of effort, and as we've been talking about, it's all about enjoyment. So if you're feeling low of energy and not motivated, put on some music, put on a frame training, and get quick and powerful energetic movements going, breathing deeply, feeling into the enjoyment of that movement, and watch it, how it changes your state immediately from one of low energy and procrastination to one of enjoyment. Make sure to join us for the rest of this video where we're going to implement and have some questions to answer and where we're going to talk about enjoyment with our creative community. See you soon. How do you feel now? Feel free to use any of this physical training whenever you need a, a boost of enjoyment to reconnect you to your desires, yeah? Or use it, as I like to say, train every day, yeah? Train throughout the day. Think about it, if you're training on a daily basis to, to to live life and be enjoyable in your life, this will automatically set you into creative flow. A body knows intimately how to be in flow. And if you think about the experience that you're wanting to create, it's that practice. The states that feel good, that are in flow, are something happening in your body. So practice these states in your body. Tune into the body the next time that you're doubting. And remember, the body needs to feel and experience this pleasure and enjoyment now, yeah? It needs that to find the value in the hard work that it's putting in to manifest this. Now, you would feel the same, and you do. So take time out, do a frame training, have a beer with friends, take a little break, and play. Now, if you wanna dive deeper in your practice, make sure you check out the implementation questions below, yeah? Make sure while you're implementing to stay physical. And definitely, 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 I wanna hear from you. This is when, what we call here at Life Artists a We Think, super exciting. It's where we get together and we hash it out, we talk about it, and we share as a tribe. It's super enjoyable, speaking about enjoyment. So I wanna hear from you. Let's think about this and share with all of us what you enjoy in your daily experience right now. Share one example of a play date that you're gonna do with your community. So I wanna know from you, how did focusing your attention on your physical experience allow you to create enjoyment right now? And how did that affect your motivation, your action, and your persistence towards your desires? And number two, how did you physically and emotionally feel after training? And how do you plan to integrate this into your life? It's a great pleasure to have you here. So definitely get on over into the conversation. Go to lifeartist.community, join us. It's the place where we love to talk to each other, get involved, share your truth, and let's support each other in our creative growth. As well, if you love what I'm doing, Follow me on social networks. Definitely sign up for my newsletter. That's the place where you get all kinds of trainings, all kinds of content that I don't share anywhere else. And more importantly, you get the dates and the areas where I'm offering the Conscious Creator workshops. If you're serious about training your creative power, that's the place where you gotta go. And I tell you, it's seriously enjoyable. Thank you so much for being here. And remember, you are the creator. Embody your creativity makes you powerful.